Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Keeper, and today I would like to welcome you back to Stonehearth. We're playing a little bit more of Berryfield right here, as you can see. Not gonna lie, forgot that the series was called Berryfield. So I said Stonehearth and said, then remembered it was called Berryfield a second after, and now we are here today playing some Berryfield. Forgot again for a fraction of a second there. Welcome back. The welcome right there sounded that similar to a pre-pubescent teenager. We currently have some silver mail for our knights. However, still the lower level shield. Our blacksmith has been working particularly hard to create some of the finest armors in the land. And they are fine. I will tell you that. First hand experience. They are absolutely fine. I still don't know if my speaker is picking up everything that I'm saying. But I'm just going to get... Okay. I Well, it might be. It might not. Probably would be a more idea, idea, ideal for it to pick up something. Kind of curious now as to whether or not it is. Will it be a waste of time or not? Probably will. But you know what? I feel confident in my testing abilities. We need a steel... Well, we don't need a steel shield, okay? It's only plus two armor on top of the standard shield. I think. We currently have the full plate mail. No, we went for the silver mail because it was basically a, di a direct upgrade for just a some extra silver. Okay, and also some extra steel as well. Actually, no, wait. Less steel, more silver. So it was... It did require more stuff, but it wasn't really that much of an investment. So I'm, I don't really mind that much. We're also creating one more steel helmet, which is going to complete the bundle. And then we just need some gold ingots, which we do have the ability to create... And we could also pick some up over here if we can get that done quickly. That would be ideal, Merv, right now. Just running around trying to do his own business. And we are still continuing with our mining efforts over here. You know, otherwise... Is there any sound? Yeah, there is sound. Okay. My recording test had very loud music. It was very loud. Much louder than I recall it being. So, don't know... If I should turn it up now. This seems to always be the case after I test. Is I don't think I've tested enough. So many animals. Including some poyos, which is great. We are making some animal feed for them. Daily update. Food is low. Net worth is low, unfortunately. And we still need to create ourselves some dens. So getting that done is sort of the next big step. I don't know if we should have it completely cover up this section. Or we should have it cover up both sections. Kind of feel like it should probably be covering up the, the grass layer. The only issue with that is that it gets very close to this. Maybe it should be slightly outside of the grass layer. So this could be the nice little mud pit. Maybe we can make a chicken coop. Sorry, a pollo coop. Look at this thing. It's an egg with a beak and some, I don't know, some sort of mohawk. It's quite adorable in its own sort of 80s rock star sense of adorable. <laughs> Speaking of mohawks, we do have this giant zombie right here we probably should go ahead and deal with. We currently have six in our combat party. I did have the comments up a second ago. So I'm going to have to go and bring them up again in a second. Let's see. We got the, the knight. We got two knights, three clerics, and an archer, which we do need to move on to this party. I can't remember not moving them over, so I'm a little bit weirded out by that, but I suppose we'll be fine for now. What was I going to do? Yeah. Give me a moment. I've returned. Here I am. The sound is good, and I have comments, which unfortunately I haven't properly labeled. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is great. Let's see. What am I looking for? A lot of them are names. We've got one from Lucas. Uh, so this was during the, the clerics fighting around, and I had to cheat, unfortunately. In order to, uh, quote, unquote, best my foe. Because of the, the way the clerics mechanically function when there is nothing to heal. I mean, they... I don't understand it. Anyway, you didn't get the mechanic of the battle in the game. If a group of, cler a group of cler ugh, clerics and fighters have the fighters KO, the healers will try to finish the enemies. They won't heal each other's group members. As the archers you had, the game is not broken. It's just how the battle mechanics work. It doesn't mean they're not bad mechanics. <laughs> so, to be honest, what I would like to have is the ability to heal them. It just feels like in the early game, micromanagement is key. 
which is why some people said they they didn't understand why I had them the 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 fighters as well as the uh, the the melee and healers in separate groups. It's because the archers have the ability to kill people very quickly. If you don't have footmen and you just have knights, they don't do anywhere near as much damage as footmen or archers. So you can't really rely on them as a DPS, more as just sort of keeping some people at bay while you're shooting others. And the reason you want to use archers to specifically target down some other targets is because you can take out their healers without ruining everyone out, without, you know, having your knights run around. And when you fight with, when you fight against healers with footmen, the healers are going to keep running off. Same thing with kobolds, they're going to keep running off. And if they keep doing that, then they're just going to, well, the, the, the enemy, the melee fighters are just going to stop aggroing the knights and they're just going to run after someone else, as what we've seen in the past. That's why I have them in uh, separate groups. Can't talk today, apparently. So that's that one solved. Not to mention you can kill clerics and if they run off, they're ranged anyway, so you can kill them. The same thing with kobolds, they're going to run off. I might add, when they run off, they're also not doing any damage in that time. So that's also another bonus, but it means you can kill them at range, you don't have to worry about anything, which is so many gold bars around it. So many everything around here, this is great. As for the healers though, not fighting with the knights, I think that's just dumb. As a mechanic, I think it's, I mean, what you could say to against that is, oh yeah, but then the healers are just going to be in a heal lock. So they're just going to constantly heal each other without fighting. And this is why they should have a separate option. Their attack move for the player, there should be a heal option. So what you should do is you can have one of them fight and the other two can heal the other one. That's what I would like to see. You know, maybe they do just stance themselves as fighting. I don't know, but the game is unfinished. So I'm fine with that. Sometimes you just have to do what is right. <laughs> uh, well, I say what is right. That I cheated. <laughs> Perhaps it's not right. However, I just, I just felt screwed over. So, so there is that. Thank you very much for that comment. So I'm just uh, replying to that to clarify my thoughts on the, the particular situation of that fight. I also need to do some more looting over here. There we are. Now as for... Blah, 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 what am I looking for? Um, I need to zoom down a little bit over here. Also, the tower braziers need to be made of a mason's pedestal. Yep, I, I did miss that, unfortunately. Uh, we have made a pedestal. This I've, I've realized this in a past episode. It did uh, come up with it right around here, the requirements. I think I think it's because it said level requirements or something, and then it just popped up saying you need to make the Mason's Pedestal. I can't remember if it was on here or on here. I'm pretty sure it would be on here. I can't remember. kind of want to get rid of the pedestal just to see. I don't know. But anyway, we're just going to continue with our lives after that little rant of mine. It's all good. We're all happy here. We're having a nice little f bundle of fun. Don't know why I moved them over there. Distracted, perhaps. But there we are. So we're collecting gold. Oh, well, we are actually collecting gold. Who are you? Yuri. Apparently you also have two people with the same name. Now, I don't know if this is referencing the two people that are... Let's see. Because I do believe we had two people named... Was it... I'm trying to remember who it was. They had the same name, but oh, yep, yep, we got Yuri twice. Yep, okay, that is, that, I thought you level 15 farm, level 5. Okay, we'll change your name. So I thought I had you on okay, did I? Yeah, okay, I've okayed you now. Too much to... Alright, let's see, we're not really going to have you do anything, are you? So I'll have you be a Camden. There we are. Welcome, you have... Been reformed, reborn into something greater. I say greater. I do apologize, Yuri, if you take offense. It's not my intention. Giant bone axe for four trappers' knives. Hell no. I'm not going to use the bone axe anyway because I'm pretty sure it's footman only. I don't really want to fight this skeleton. Well, I suppose I could send my archers over. Yeah, they'll probably be fine. Just be. Just fighting it themselves. They're generally quite weak. And we have quite a large amount of damage potential with these archers. So we're going to just clump them up and then move them over to fight this great beast. Hopefully they won't go into melee mode. That would not be ideal. I'm pretty sure they can outrun it as well. 
Oh, wow. We won't even run after them, in fact. Oh, bloody hell. Good timing. See, this is why I didn't want to do it. Because <laughs> like, it would be the absolute worst time. Okay, we will try and fight you and move down from here. Do I need to go into alert mode? Yeah, it's quite far away. All right, run away as fast as you can. Hopefully the knights will take aggro. Then the healers will have to back off. As for our archers, they are going to very slowly run, although they will be on the road soon, so we'll be able to keep up. The kobolds are here, though. A large number of them, in fact, and we're against these wolf packs. I know these wolves are fairly tanky. I mean, I could just have one archer on each, co each kobold, but I think I'd rather tank down these. We're sort of in more of a position where we can just sort of quickly tank down some of these targets now. They haven't got any healers, so I don't think we need to really worry about them too much. And we are out healing them due to our increased armor. So this is sort of a more of the stage of the game where having sort of, well, relying more on micro doesn't really matter that much because you're at sort of at a point where you've overleveled your opponent. Until, of course, we get to a point where we no longer need it. Didn't we have... Where's our third cleric? Am I not seeing them? They're over there. You haven't stuck. You're not stuck, are you? No. Really confused. Okay, well, there we are then. The wolves have been dispatched, and now they're being chased down. So we're going to focus on you and you. And yeah, we're just going to try and kill you lot. Kill the easy ones first, because they can pretty much be gunned down immediately. Look at that. That damage is insane. We'll take out the ones that are closer. The healers are going to have... Spot above, I think, catching up to the knight. There we go. We'll pretty much run this on super speed mode now because we shouldn't really have any more problems. Yeah, there we go. That one's going to be downed. There we are. Daily update. Food has increased. Net worth, unfortunately, has not. Do we have any more silver? I know we've been collecting a lot of gold. So I'm pretty sure we have the ability to make some of these shields now. In fact, we can make two of them, which is going to be quite nice to see. However, have we made all the helmets? Nope, we haven't. We're still missing one more by the looks of it. So let's see if we can make one more helmet first. Well, I'm pretty sure... Does that shield use silver? It uses steel, not silver. Okay, then. Well, we're, we're low on silver right now. I don't know if we attained any more. Unfortunately, not. We might be able to purchase some if we come across it. For now, we have the money to make two more of these steel shields, so we're going to go ahead and do that. As for our clerics, I don't think we can make any more steel just yet. No, we need more coal. Yeah, we definitely have those resources. We just need to do a little bit more underground mining. We're still mining this out for the most part. Why is this all mined out? Has this always been here? I can't remember. Ripping me out, though. I don't worry, it's not creeping me out. I'm just, just completely on edge about the entire situation now because of that one little bit. Unfortunately, we're not really making much food for our animals, are we? Are you actually capable of making this or are you just not going to do it? Contents. We got a cook, right? There might be more... I mean, it's just some of the animals. The others are fed. As you can see, these chickens are laying eggs. I guess the cook's just busy. Oh, no, yeah, we are making animal fe feed. Maybe I'm throwing it in here, then. Oh, yeah, okay, it goes into this box. That's interesting, then. What makes that one different? Is it this? Cooking ingredients for animal feed. Okay, and I don't have that in there. Oh, right, okay. That makes more sense. Probably should have a separate one for animal animal feed. I think that would be a better idea. Shove that there. I don't know who's going to place that. You know, I I recall there being a pathing path sort of well, pathing. Path you could view the pathing path of your your herflings now. That I recall. I can't remember how good it was. I think it was a little bit intrusive now that I think about it. So we can put just animal feed in here and we don't have to have, we don't have, to have animal feed in any of these. 
Just like the idea of having one place for it, since we're probably going to need a good amount of it in stock. Oh, right. The, the healers are constantly healing the sheep that are starving. That's very interesting. Well, we can harvest for meat. I wonder if we can also harvest your feathers. I'm pretty sure we don't have to do that. I think they just drop over time. I wonder if we have any. I don't know what category that would stay in. Mm, doesn't look like we have any. Perhaps it's just something that will spawn over time. I don't know. You're all the way over there gathering wood, I assume. We did harvest those berries, I think, which is why the, the food went up. So we can probably keep expanding with our houses. We do have this one to finish off, though. Let's see. Yeah, wooden door. We have everything that we need. I think it's just sort of bugged out again. It always gets to about this stage, and then it just sort of stops. Tell you what, though, that looks really cool. Might want to fill this in with something, maybe some crates. That's quite a nice looking house. We will need to edit a few of these. That Well, actually, we couldn't really edit this one, could we? No, there are very few of them that we can edit because they have a few additions. Like this one has the roof sticking out by one extra, which I do quite like. But it does give get rid of the ability to refine our place. Although we are getting to work on this area. I think what I will do is get this sorted out. There we go, because they're not going to get it done otherwise. I mean, we might not have them on build. You know, I remember now. No, we have loads of them on build, so I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do it. The mining done over here. Yep, we'll get another strip. There we are. Just do a strip at a time. And then I think we'll only have to go down through the middle level. We might even... Well, we can't really keep this as a mine then, can't we? Because we're going to fill it in. We probably can just get what we need. So if we were to go down a bit further... I mean, there's a lot of this is mined out. That's the thing. But if we mine further, like that. I don't think it's a bad idea just to gather some more materials. And we can make a mine anywhere, really. We can even use this one if we wanted to. Maybe that can be the actual quarry. I don't know. What was the... Uh, oh, no, I can't do that. Trader approaches. Five wind swords for free stone malls. Absolutely not. You'd think we would be a little bit more worthwhile than free stone malls by now. Uh, how about the fencing situation? We can have some fine fences if we want. Very fine. High quality fences. Unfortunately, it won't be all over because you can't really have them attached to buildings, which is a bit of a shame. But I think that's okay. Also, just enough as well. <laughs> so, even better, really. The cobblestone fence. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a cobblestone fence. And I do think it should be... Actually, I really hope this connects. They should have sort of one block variants of the fence. Just so that you can be a little bit more... Yeah, see, that this is what I'm talking about. So now we have a bit of a an issue here. That I don't know how to deal with. I mean, well, the only way to deal with it is to have it go out by one extra block on this side, which is really inconsistent. Yeah, I don't like that at all, but it looks like it's the only way we're going to have to deal with this. But we're going to block all the animals off. And we're going to have wooden fences connected on this side. I don't know if that's really going to connect. Probably won't. Unfortunately, I can't really have a point here, so I'm going to have to make some blocks or something instead. We can do it there. It's kind of cool looking as well. I mean, it does connect, which is quite cool. Do we want a stone gate? Oh, wow, this doesn't even connect fully, does it? No. Nope. Oh, wow. This is very annoying. We will... I don't know what to do there. Yeah, it would be nice if they were to add... I mean, it's not even symmetrical, but that's not the issue here. The issue is that I just need one 
a one sort of block fence or a half block fence or whatever just to shove that in the corner. Now, I'm kind of stuck. It doesn't look particularly great. I suppose what I could do is just not have a fence there. But for now, I'm just going to have to leave it there. Stone fences. We don't have many more of them left. So we'll use up the rest that we have. And I'm pretty sure we have the stone fences on a constant construction. Let's just have a quick look. Slice. Oh. Wait, wrong one. Mason. We... It's right there. Can't make any of these just, just that count. Now we can try and find some goblin honor tokens. We must have some by now. Also, these are food donation boxes. But anyway, unfortunately, no, we don't have these on a main on maintain. So let's maintain about 20. Well, 30, 20 is probably fine. Yeah, let's maintain 20 of them. Mostly it's an issue with stone. Food is also not sufficient, apparently. Yeah, we are making wheat though. But that's mostly for the animals. We will continue to try and make more food, however. Let's go for some corn. Yeah, I don't think we're making any corn. Oh, wait, no, is that corn? No, we are making corn, apparently. Forget I said anything. Corn is high in nutrition, though, which is why it's quite nice. Where am I going? I think we probably will have another cornfield. Unfortunately, this doesn't completely add up on this side, which is a bit of a shame. Nothing ever does, though. So we'll get there very slowly with the, the fences there. While we're doing that, we need to find out how to make those donation boxes. Can't remember where we make them. Is it the cook? Oh, invaders approaching. Yes, it's the cook. Okay, so we need to have a pollo pot pie. A peasant bread. Good. And a rock of roast mutton. A rack of roast mutton, sorry. That's not really that bad. We just need to get some mutton, the pollo pot pie, we just need some pollo meat, and a sack of flour. The sack of flour, we just need some bales of wheat. We are making some foods with that, though. The cornmeal. Corn ground into a fine powder. Which... Don't know what that helps make. We do have some eggs, though, which is nice. So we can make an omelette. Yeah, let's make two omelettes. No, no, two omelettes. There we go. Let's make two omelettes because I think that would be kind of fun. Although we'll, we'll use up the pollo eggs. The roast pollo. We need two of these though. So we need double of everything. So the corn, we're fine. We just need... Let's make the pie first. So a sack of flour. I guess we can't do that. We need to kill some pollos and some sheep. And we don't really have much of a luxury of doing that right now. Also, here are the enemies. Which we are, at the moment, absolutely fine with dealing with. Yeah, it looks like we're all good. Don't like the idea of the healers being that close, though, to the AoE attacks of the troll. Or the, the orc. It's weird they're called... That it's an orc, isn't it? Orc gone terribly wrong, and then this is just... I think this is also an orc. I, I can't see it being a goblin, anyway. But it says there's an orc gone terribly wrong. I mean, I don't know. Has it gone through some sort of genetic mutation? What's going on there then, eh? Why are you all running off? A little bit weird. Are they trying to heal the animals? Oh, no. They're trying to heal the animals. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, wow. Okay, then. The knights are really tanking this, though. <laughs> Look how much armor they've got, though. It's insane. It's a six. There's a nine. There's another six. It's stupid how much armor they've got. Stupidly good, anyway. Right, well, we'll be able to do that. And the healers didn't really help too much. Might need another cook. I don't think we can keep up with the demand. That or we stop the cook from creating... All these meals. Ah, but it keeps them happy, doesn't it? There's so many meals they have to make. The cook is overworked. We need another one, I think. I think the next sapper might need to be a cook. Or we can get BK on the case.